Hello, and welcome to People Playground. Today we're going to be playing around with this thing. This is a laser pointer, and, uh, well, on its own, it really doesn't do very much, but today we're going to be trying to make the most powerful laser that we can. In order to make the most powerful laser that we can, you need to first power it. So we're going to grab this and uh, stick it in place. Then when you hook up your laser to the machine, uh, it's going to turn it from something that's, you know, might cause blindness in somebody's eye into something a lot more powerful. Well, explosions count as powerful, so I'll take it. Right, so now that we've got this, let's try pointing it over here. Hmm. Does not last very long. Um, wonder how we can fix that. Let's repair it. And then we're gonna... It's kind of angry about, you know, itself. And then it just kind of destroys itself. Just hearing the laser from across the room is kind of funny. Especially because it's just, it's so far away. It's all the way up there. Anyways, uh, we do need to figure out what this actually does to a person. So here's our person. Let's see what happens here. And... Instantaneously, they're cut in half. And, uh... Some chunks are flown around the room. Yeah, that that's uh, that's not particularly pleasant. Uh, let's see what it actually does to like a couple lines of people, more than just one. So it can cut through quite a few people and androids. The androids it has a little bit more trouble with, but it still it still makes its way through them. Come on, just just one. Two more. There we go. So that was everybody. And, well, I'd have to say that it did a pretty good job. That being said, it was a little bit slow. I think, I think that it can be done a little bit faster. We're going to take this. We're going to make it the most powerful laser that's in the game. And we're going to do that with this. And on top of that, we're also going to use a metronome because those are actually surprisingly powerful especially when paired with things like this bad boy over here so the way that this is going to work is we're going to attach the metronome to activate this so every time that the metronome clicks back and forth it's going to activate it and it's going to shoot we can make the metronome go super super fast so that the laser shoots super super fast and then on top of that, we're going to add in the charge of uh, this generator so that that's going to make it uh, extremely powerful. Now it's charged, so let's go ahead and slow things down and then activate the metronome and see what happens. And you can see that it only activated once and it killed at least half of the people and at the moment I'm pretty sure that everything is toast everything is completely destroyed after it firing all of two times this thing is insane it's stupid powerful look at this the reason that this is the most powerful cannon is because we can lock the metronome to go super, super, super fast. Um, let's start off. So it, it starts off at one. Then we can crank it up a little bit. Let's crank it up to. F no, not 58. Let's crank it up to five and see how that goes. And every time it shoots shoots that super powerful beam that destroys just about everything. Now we can crank it up quite a bit farther 
and uh, I guess let's just see how high it goes. Um, the highest that it can go is 32. So that's as good as you're going to get, which is still probably going to be a lot more than you want. It's still going to be pretty bad. Um, we're going to use people and then we're going to use androids and then we're just going to have to see how bad things get and how quickly. Well, it's certainly a lag machine. And I'm pretty sure that everything died in a about less than a second. I don't I don't think that anybody is left. I think that the only thing left is um, PC parts of people flying around on fire. What is that? I don't even know what that it is. Um, whatever it is, it's very, very, very dead. That's why this is the most powerful laser in the game. I hope that you have enjoyed this episode of People Playground and the senseless destruction that we have caused. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode.